with this new gig, I imagine renting the RV and hitting the entire Taylor Swift tour is once again off the table. Is that correct? <laughs> if we rent an RV, we can hit the entire Taylor Swift tour just by driving. <laughs> Yes, yes, it is. We um, we've been very busy lately. We we were just in London for a month, and and I heard um, I think she has like eight shows in London this summer, and I'm like, can we go back for that? <laughs> so, what made you want to do this at this point in your life? Yeah, I think that um, for for any professional athlete that's retiring, the the transition is is really hard. And I went straight from I tore my ACL and then I got pregnant and had Koa, my son. And so it was really like so many changes. And I was fortunate enough to get to take some time to to figure out what I want to do. And obviously, JJ was still playing, and we had this new baby, and so. Um, there were there was a lot going on, but we finally have settled, and we're trying to figure out what what we love and what we want to do. And so this, you know, came about, and and I'm really excited to try it and and see if I love it. The homework that you're putting in now for this, how different is it from the game planning of opponents that you did as a player? It that's a great question because it, it has been a lot harder for me because there's so much studying. I was just talking to Mike Watts, who's uh, in the booth for prime video. And he has like four games a week for different leagues and different things. And I'm like, how do you prepare for all this? Cause I have one game as a sideline reporter and it is so difficult to, to make sure you have everything straight. And yeah, it, it's such a different thing than you, you played soccer your whole life and you just, you know how to do it and you go into these games and it, it that's been very challenging for me. Your role on the broadcast. I don't know if it, lends itself to being critical but have you thought about being critical of players that you know and what that is going to be like for you yeah it's definitely a difficult thing when you go from playing with these girls to then you know critiquing them and even interviewing them I'm going to be interviewing my friends this weekend and so trying to keep it professional and I, I've played with all these girls and so that is definitely an interesting part of it. But I think, um, you know, as you go, you, you get used to it and figure out a way to do it in a, in a, in a good way. What have you taken away from JJ's experience being uh, with CBS sports? Yeah, a, a lot. You know, I, I watched the way he has studied this year and, and he, same thing with him, how he's handled not being too critical to players and not being total jerk and and he's he's so good at it he he really is just such a natural at it and so I've had a lot of fun watching him every weekend and yeah the dash is honoring you before the game talking about it now is one thing but how do you think you'll feel when the whole recognition process happens inside that stadium it's going to be so cool for me. I, I was thinking about it today. Just my, my whole family is going to be there. Um, everyone who supported me when I was at the dash and so many faces that I was at the dash with for so long. And um, I'm so excited to see everybody. It's going to be very emotional. And my son, my son has never been to that stadium and never been on the field there. So to get to share that with him and have him down there is going to be incredible. So Koa is packing his best smile is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Koa will be there. Koa will be down on the field. So I can't wait to get some good pictures of him. He has to be a pretty good traveler by this point. <laughs> yes? He, he is. We When we went to London that first week, obviously the time change is insane. And we kept looking at each other like, we are never doing this again. We're never doing this again. And then he adjusts and he, he's a really, really good traveler. He's been all over the place. 10 years ago, I see this post of you and Megan and Brian. A lot younger then, but what do you think of <laughs> yeah. when you see that? I know, it's so cool. It, it's just so cool that it all worked out this way, that I was drafted to Houston. I They'll they'll be at the game on Friday, and I was thinking, like, I I lived with them for my first, like, three years in Houston, and got to be there with my nephews and my nephews were at every game. So it, it really is so important to me. Houston is, is my home. So I, I cannot wait to be there with them. Since it's just us right now, 
Can you please tell me what the secret is to the perfect Hawaiian roll French toast casserole? <laughs> because I'm telling you, it looked amazing. It looked amazing. I will tell you the secret is an entire stick of butter. <laughs> so it's actually cheating because it is the most unhealthy thing you'll ever make, but it is delicious. Kaylia, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.